In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can format our strings using pad start and pad end. For instance, you can see the output over here in my example. We have name and email coming up, but these are not aligned. So what we'll need to do is by making use of pad start over here, we'll be ensuring that the output is aligned properly. So labels are at one end and values are on the other end. To do that, we'll be just copying this line and uh, pasting it over here. So with the name thing, what we'll do is we'll make use of the pad start method. And here, we'll specify how many padding is required. So 20 if I say, and then I'll say space. So there will be 20 spaces, including name as well. And then we have this colon and name coming up. Similarly, we'll go and do the same with pad start with email. And here also we'll specify the same number with space. Now, if I save this and run it in browser, let's refresh this page now. So you can now see name and email earlier was coming like this. Now, if you see, they are more aligned. So name and email all coming together, then the dots, and then we have the name and email ID values displayed. Similarly, we can make use of pad end as well. And uh, here you can see we have another example where we are playing with month and year. So usually if month is a single digit value, it would be nice to prepend zero to it. So here when we are printing it out, it is going to print 2026. But with pad start, what we can do is we have the year and month. With month, we can do pad start and then it will start with zero and total two digits will be used or two places. So including zero and the month name will make it two and the first value will be zero. So let's save this and run it now. There you go. Here you can see 2026 is coming up and with this one it is more in line with the whole month thing. So year then two digits for month. So that's how you can make use of pad start and pad end to play with your strings.